What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we're gonna talk about internet browsers. In this video we are gonna talk about the reasons why you might wanna change your internet browser right now. So if you wanna know something about that, stay tuned. Guys, almost every web browser today is leaking your identity and browsing history. Some of them more likely to do that than others so let's let's talk about that guys today we have plenty of browsers back in the day the reason you might simply want to change your browser was uh, let's say some extra special features like uh, mouse gestures or um, compatibility but today it's 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 much more so today situation is a little bit more complicated than just than just compatibility people are getting more aware about something called privacy about data leaks and stuff like that so if you if you care about things like this this video is for you i'm making this video because i want to make you aware of how browsing internet looks these days i want you to be aware that you are spreading your private information all over the web it's like just imagine you're going to the store like a super mall you just want to have a look at some clothes shoes etc and imagine that there is someone following you and recording every activity you are doing and i'm not just talking about this person just went to tj maxx or something like that it's recording everything it's recording what alley you choose to go through on what product you stay the longest stuff like this how much time you spent in that store in general did you take something to your hand did you have a look at something else everything is recorded and not only that then someone is going outside and making a making a note of what car you came with crazy so these days browsing internet looks exactly like this so if you want to go back to good old times that you just went to the store and browse something without spreading your information to the left and right everywhere you need to start using different internet browser there is this interesting article on the pcmac.com basically it's talking which browser is the best in 2023 so I highly recommend you to have a look at this but in general if you look for uh, for example most compatible browser with every website created uh, Google Chrome will be probably the best choice but there's always a but so if you have a problem with um, let's say your banking experience or you want to buy some airline tickets online and you have some weird problems probably if you choose only for that task Google Chrome will save you from all troubles because most of the web designers are focused mainly on this browser so if it if it works on Google Chrome they are happy enough I remember that Opera was the best browser to choose if you were looking for extra features uh, like a mouse gestures and stuff like that but uh, that was long time ago almost every single browser these days can give you exactly the same experience so so yeah i used to i used to love opera i still have it on my on my drive uh, but i'm not using this too too often and now if you want to protect your privacy you need to you need to consider something else than than you than you have here so again if you don't want to be followed every single move you're doing if you don't want to be fingerprint you need to consider using different browser quickly what is browser fingerprinting another interesting article i highly recommend you to have a look on techradar.com all the links will be provided under the video but basically fingerprinting is a ability to know who are you exactly because when you go on the, on the web and you are not logging to any account like a, let's say facebook or gmail stuff like that you are not giving any private data but still due to fingerprinting tactics web designers can easily recognize you from the crowd so imagine you have normal car from 2020 like many other people on the street your car is black again like many many others so your car 
doesn't look different than most of the most of the cards on the road but you have a plate on your on your car even if you cover the plate they still can recognize you you might have um, special exhaust different alloys all that things makes you unique and that uniqueness makes you very visible standing out from the crowd and this is the way how they know that you are you there are many reasons why someone wants to know what exactly you're doing on the internet every activity every browsing history uh, yeah you, you can imagine all the data is a powerful tool to to control you if they know what you like if they know your interest they can easily give you some ads and uh, trick you to buy something guys I have a quick exercise for you if you're using Instagram run it right now start scrolling sooner or later you will notice add something about I don't know cars electric equipment whatever that is stop on this ad just stop scrolling and pretend that you are looking at this ad like you are reading this like you're watching and thinking stop scrolling for like 10 seconds and then start scrolling again I guarantee you the same ad maybe not exactly the same but something very similar exactly the same product very similar ad with the same product will appear very soon if you stop again for next three four five days you will be constantly seeing this freaking ad that happened to me recently uh, I was looking for some information about the solar panels suddenly Instagram showed me uh, show me an ad about the solar panels so I stopped because I was curious and now for last five days I constantly see all sorts of ads about the solar panels from this company from that company it's freaking crazy so let's talk a little bit what kind of information your browser is leaking and uh, that's, that's freaking amazing so I will tell you quickly it's it's your geolocation if you are not under like a, a VPN for example your location is just sold for free another thing what kind of hardware you're using what kind of software operating system what browser you're using what uh, screen resolution depth of colors um, what kind of extension you have and obviously your browsing history because of the freaking cookies that they are third-party cookies on your drive and many many other things I highly recommend you to use site like this privacy privacy test dot or org is a site made by a community that is testing all web browsers on the net and they will tell you exactly what your browser is leaking so for example if you're using something like chrome or edge uh, basically every possible information about you is just spread just just have a look just have a look at those axes they are freaking everywhere there is no there is no perfect browser you can you can tell that even the the brave browser the, the browser designed for privacy somewhere has a you know red x so they didn't pass some kind of a test but that's okay because using the proper browser is a huge step forward your privacy so just just have a look just have a look i think those two are basically no go uh, I'm very surprised that Opera looks really bad as well. I didn't expect this to be fair. I thought it's a little bit better, but it's not. And if you want to test your browser right now, there are plenty of sites that you can visit right now. For example, browserleaks.com or uh, cover your truck site. And just by pressing this one button, you can test your browser. So let's have a look. At the moment, I'm using Brave Browser, the browser designed for your privacy also i'm using ublock origin plugin known on the internet as a fantastic tool to fight with a third party cookies fin fingerprinting and all sorts of things so you have a results here there's a very long list i don't want to go through all of that because this is not the scope of the video also i don't want to spread my information all over the internet so i'm not going to show you what my results are but have a look you have a detailed view spend some time and you will be surprised how much information is out there i just want to give you one example let's let's have a look at this browser 
leaks.com my exactly location let's have a look geolocation let's see what they know about me they know that i live in manchester uk the thing is it's not true because i'm using vpn so i don't have to worry about nothing i'm gonna show you quickly i will just switch from uk to something else Okay, I'm going now through Washington DC in United States, so let's refresh this site. For some reason this site has a problem now with tracking my location. Let's let's try something different. mylocation.org. Okay, so United States. So the system thinks that I am from United States now. So VPN is a thing to consider if you are a privacy concern person. So guys, I will tell you this. I use all of those browsers in the past. My recommendation for someone who's just starting with this and wants the best possible compatibility, because that's important as well. You don't want to have a problem when you go to your banking uh, site or buying something online is this Brave Browser. Brave Browser is a basically modified version of Chrome, but with a privacy tweaks. Another browser that is very good is a Firefox. And uh, Firefox itself, it's, it is also a very good choice, but requires some extra plugins like, uh, uh, for example, Privacy Badger or uh, uBlock Origin. This one, LibreWolf, is a basically the same Firefox, is a hardened Firefox browser. What that means is basically the same like Brave with a Chrome. It's a copy of Firefox, but more secured. Mulvart is a famous VPN provider that recently, just recently, started making his own internet browser. Many YouTubers uh, and uh, privacy respecting persons are talking about this browser because it's designed to protect you from all that bullshit on the internet. But the Mulvart is a browser for more advanced users, so uh, if, you don't, if you don't want this hassle, like uh, you want your browser to remember your passwords, uh, so this browser is not for you. This browser is perfect just for general things, like you just wanna mess around, check something on the internet, not necessarily you wanna uh, anyone to know that you visit some sites, that browser is the best choice. Nothing is stopping you from having many, as many browsers as you want. For example, I have all of them. I have Edge just for testing. I have Opera. I have um, Mozilla Firefox. It's a hardened version and the Brave browser. So you can do the same. You could have a Mulvart only for playing around. You could use uh, Firefox or Brave for your important stuff, like logging to your banking, YouTube accounts, Facebook accounts. And a Chrome or Edge is the last result if you want to have the best possible compatibility. If you have any problems with some websites, try to run them through those two and you should be okay. Tor browser, it's a, it's a whole different story, is the best possible privacy browser out there, but it's not for everybody. Browsing through Tor is uh, it's only for advanced users. It's not. That I'm not gonna talk about in these videos because this is whole other thing. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. That video was only to make you aware that your information is spread out there for 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 free for everybody, and you don't want this because you might have a phone call from someone claiming that. Uh, there is the parcel waiting for you from Amazon and that you just bought something and actually you you did bought this. So everything on the phone will be legit, sounds legit. And you'll be like, yeah, okay, what's the problem? Oh, there was a problem with a payment. You need to provide us. Uh, your card hasn't been accepted. So we need to do it again. And you'll be like, okay, because everything sounds okay. And uh, you will lose all your money from the account. All right, guys, I hope that video was useful. And if it was, consider subscribing. I have shitloads of other videos you might be interested in. So please have a look. Like always, 
smash this like button but only if you want and i will see you next time thank you bye